we really need to look how our education system is working, whether there is counselors available there, whether, you know, if any kind of bullying is happening, whether it is reported, some kind of action is taken. We need to understand that the social fabric that we are all part of is very heteronormative in its approach. And the very fact that we are not trained in parenting and there is no specific course for people to understand this entire expression and how the, the fluidity of gender is going to be like in the near future when everybody celebrates dressing up people in different genders when the, the child is growing up. They are the eventual ones who start to hate child when they start expressing themselves in their authentic gender and expression. And all of it starts to impact child. Now we have this uh, national education policy. If you read this education policy, there is a uh, term which they have explained, gender inclusion fund, which talks about girl child and which also talks about transgender child. So there is a scope now. With the government talking, at least the central government has made this policy talking about transgender kids. We have heard about how transgender students, you know, they are dropping out of schools because of bullying and discrimination. Think about a you know transgender person assigned uh, male sex at birth, wants to become a doctor, cracks the most difficult exam need, becomes a medical student, joins my medical institutions, has the courage to come out of the closet and then more courage to undergo transition therapy. Now the question arises, where will this student stay? We have girls hostel, we have boys hostel. And after transition, the problem is that boys hostel do not want her to stay over there and the same is with the girls hostel. What is the home where you feel safe, feel secure, feel safe, feel safe, feel safe, feel safe. Only four doors are made of the house. कि एक शेल्टर मिल गया चलो पर छत है धूप नहीं आ रही बरसात नहीं आ रही लेकिन वो नहीं अपनापन है क्या डिग्निटी है क्या रिस्पेक्ट है क्या लव है क्या सिक्योरिटी है क्या ऑल दैट इज मिसिंग रनिंग होम्स विद नो मनी इज डिफिकल्ट व्हेन पीपल आर हैविंग दिस डायलॉग यू हैव टू हैव अ सिस्टम दैट इट प्रोटेक्ट्स राइट एंड यू नो इट प्रोटेक्ट्स दिस पर्सन लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु कम इन शेल्टर होम्स दे दे हैव ओनली टाइम पीरियड फॉर 1 ईयर somebody who's been badly sexually abused it takes six months seven months to you know get out of this mental uh, trauma and you are left with four months to you know get education get some kind of skill development and go out there and you know be millionaire practically not possible it's come to what kind of skills do you have i mean uh, can you enroll yourself in any skill development programs बहुत से स्किल डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम्स सरकार चला रही स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स अपने स्किल डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम चला रही सो आर वी प्रोवाइडिंग ट्रेनिंग्स ऑन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एंड कंप्यूटर्स फॉर देम टू ग्रो इन देयर जॉब्स फॉर देम टू ग्रो इन देयर लाइवलीहुड फॉर देम इवन टू कम्युनिकेट टू पीपल विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई थिंक कि जस्ट गिविंग द लोन फूड टू स्टार्ट अ बिजनेस के साथ साथ वो ऑन्टरप्रन्योर स्किल्स भी आपको देना पड़ेगा you know in general condition kids get their primary education higher education then some technical then some diploma some even after that some of them they don't have job and do you think transgender person who's the most visible one and most discriminated one with four months of education kakha gaga abcd and little bit of you know computers going to get a job we are not even talking about equity now lot of people who hire transgender people do not want to pay same amount they are paying others how this is happening and how can we talk about equality and equity then talking about uh, the health issues we now have the transgender persons protections right 2019 section 15d talks very clearly about making the curriculum trans affirmative in delhi there are lots of irreversible surgeries are happening on intersex children and infants now are the parents in india aware about the intersex variations there are 50 of them they have no idea are the doctors aware of that even doctors many times label an a newborn as transgender would you believe that and these are happening and they perform those irreversible surgeries pediatric surgeons on these little infants who had no clue so we need to visualize these things from that perspective but sadly our curriculum still is largely homophobic 
transphobic and intersex phobic and it is the responsibility of us medical doctors because now there is a competency based education in canada we have the canmats framework for the medical doctors in india similarly we have the five roles of indian medical graduate both talks about the role of a health professional and physician as an health advocate